Hi guys, it's Phoebe. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of you are having a lovely, lovely day. So as you can see, I have a bunch of sweet, cute goodies here, and these come from my dear friend, uh, Dale over at Not Too Shabby Chic. I started in on part one, so this is part two, so just in case you missed it, I'll be linking that down below. It was her entry into the hashtag Pin It Patch It Pals birthday celebration giveaway that I am hosting, and it runs until August the 5th. So if you two would like to be a part of that, I will be linking all of the information down below, as well as Dale's um, channel, her Etsy, and also her challenge giveaway because she's also hosting a giveaway as well. You don't want to miss out on that huge prize pack. Let's go ahead and get into it because this is part two and these were some of the goodies that she has blessed me with, has spoiled me with, whatever you want to call it. So um, I also have Paul here helping me and he's handing me off some cuties so that this can go smoothly. Dale, thank you so, so much. Okay, Paul, let's go ahead and see what else she sent. Oh, and here's her beautiful birthday card as well. And so here she sent me uh, a beautiful dragonfly. How cute is that? It is a gorgeous stamp. And then she look. it looks like she wrapped up this cutie. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what this cutie is. And I can't tell her thank you enough for having thought of me. So very sweet. And Paul, um, he wanted to help out and, and see. oh, these are so cute. I'm gonna have to wear these for date night. Look how cute those are. And I hear that elephants are good luck. And look at those beautiful, vibrant colors. Look how pretty those are. Dale, thank you. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I wonder if these are one of the items that she was talking about. I think I'm already wearing earrings. Yeah, I'm already wearing earrings. I'll have to take off the ones that I have and put these on at some point. Cute. They are cute. Those are beautiful. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put them back in here so I don't lose them. And if you clicked on this video, thank you so, so much for having came back after part one. Oh. This is an Ideals magazine. I have been fortunate to have found one and I didn't realize that that's what it was, but now I am familiar with them. I found out what they were through my friend Pam, Pam Benny. Mom. Look how cute these are. And then the pages are matte. Just a quick little flip through through here so you guys can kind of get an idea of what they look like. And also Candy King Creates finds them as well on her hashtag thrifted treasures and thrifty Thursdays. These are an awesome, mommy, awesome mommy, find. Mommy. What's up, bud? There, there's a big thing you gotta take a look. Okay, we'll take a look in just a little bit. You gotta take it out. Look at those. This is for Thanksgiving. This one's a fall theme one, isn't it? So pretty. I cannot believe she shared this with me. I know she was on the hunt for them for a good while there. So thank you, Dale. Okay, what else, bud? Whoa, what is this? It's a rug. You think it's a rug? I wonder if this is what she said I could wear. Sorry for the huge, huge close up. Oh, and look, washi tape. This got uh, hey, intertwined hey, into go this. Ahead and extend this. I'll be right back. Let's have us a look. Hey guys, I am back. I'm definitely not cutting this up. This is too cute. If I have already dressed up, because right now I, I look like garbage. <laughs> But if I am wearing this, I will go ahead and insert the clip here because this is so pretty and so shaggy. I love it. So this will not get caught up. I will I will use this. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. My mom's going to fall in love with this too because she loves things like this. And then this. this little guy fell out. And I know it's just a little piece of paper, but like, I love how vintage -y it looks. Isn't that pretty? Too cute. So let's go ahead and move on. I... Dale, thank you. I'm gonna look so bougie. <laughs> so stinking cute. Okay, so Paul, I think, has taken a little oh, bit of a break. They're magnets. they're magnets. Oh, they are magnets. Okay, he's found himself a toy that um, he dug up out of the cabinet there. And here, I don't know if I showed y'all, but this is some cute little washi oh, tape. I think this is another cutie she sent me. Yeah. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna have to extend it over. It is here. another shawl. How cute is this? Okay, so here's the design. Do you see these little cute tassels? So cute. So this, I will get to wear this as well. This is not gonna get caught up. I will also use this and it is so soft. So super soft. See the little ruffles on it. If I too have put this on, I will show you guys what it looks like on me because I'm sure Dale would love to see that. 
So that is the next little cutie that she's gonna dress me up with. And let's see what else. And it also had the tags on it too, but I didn't I didn't want to look at the tags just in case it had a price on so it. So here, I'm gonna dig in and see what else. Let's see what else she sent me. Ooh, is this for my table? Oh my goodness, it is for the table. And I was gonna buy one too. But I left it behind because I, I thought it was a little pricey. It was like $15. And oh, this is so cute. This is gonna have to go on my table. Do y'all see how pretty it is? How cute. Oh my god. You read my mind. <laughs> okay, so that is the next cutie I pulled out. Let's see what is next. Oh my gosh. Dale, the last sorry sil silks that you sent me. I'm obviously new to them because I didn't have any. But um, I've, I've been using the Oh my gosh, guys. I was talking like an idiot. And <laughs> and I, I didn't get to show you all this. So I'm basically showing you guys this again because I didn't realize my camera had cut off. But she sent me some embossing folders. And then I, I saw this one. And I said, Dale, if you meant to send me this one, please let me know. And if not, if you want this back, please let me know as well. Because this, I'm sure, was very difficult to part with. Because it's so beautiful. And then this script one is so cute. Are y'all seeing that? I love this. this is gonna make for a cute, um, cute papers. And then here, oh, and even I could even see some distressing on that. That would look so cool with Tim Holtz. And then these are beautiful butterflies. It's a, also an embossing folder. She blessed me with so many of them. I don't know what all got recorded or not, but I had showed y'all these cuties and. Uh, I don't think I don't know if it recorded. We'll it. see how the how it, it comes up on the video. So and moving on and again, she shared some some uh, trim here, some shabby trim, and it's very blingy. Are y'all seeing the rhinestones on here? How cute are those? And look, even the pin itself is too cute. Are y'all seeing that? She shared the whole thing with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if I dig in again, isn't that pretty? It looks like potato sack. Except prettier. And then, if I reach in again, she shared some more trims with me, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open this so uh, the bag isn't all glary. So she shared some of this yarn with me, and it is so soft. I wish you guys could feel, feel a vision here. Oh, this is so stinking pretty. Look at that design. And it's like a little eyelet trim with some satin ribbon in there. And so much of it. Oh my gosh. Dale, oh my gosh. Y'all are gonna hear oh my gosh a lot. <laughs> I'm so very sorry, but look how pretty that is. So cute, so pretty, oh my gosh. How fun is that? And then this one, ooh, this one's soft. And I think it might have a little stretch to it, yeah. Wow, look at that. So pretty with all the flowers on it. How fun is that? Thank you, Dale. And then, this is the last one in that bag that I showed y'all just a while ago, and we got some pearly trim here. How pretty would that look on a journal cover? And look at how much she sent me here. She shared a generous amount. So sweet, Dale, oh my gosh. Okay, gosh, I have something to tell y'all. So I went to the doctors about my tonsils because I was going through a hard time with my tonsils, and the doctor said, um, what do you do for a living? Do you talk on the phone a lot? And I said, no. <laughs> and he's like, okay, so what do you do then? I said, I'm a stay at home mom. And he goes, oh, okay. So um, is there a reason why you're talking a lot? <laughs> I'm gonna go share that I, you know, that I have a channel or anything, but I thought it was kind of funny. I guess he can tell that I'm a yabber mouth. <laughs> so here she sent me this beautiful, I don't know what this would be. What is this called? A mantle? No, not a mantle. Y'all, Y'all be able to tell me. Um, Y'all have the term up for it, I'm, I'm sure, but it is so pretty. And I don't know if y'all can even tell on the fabric itself, it kind of looks shimmery or it's very, um, what would be the word? Shiny, I guess? So pretty, oh my gosh. I would not cut this up, this is too pretty. Way too pretty. But Dale, she's brave, she can cut up fabrics like no problem. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We're gonna be here a while, so I hope you guys brought uh, drinks and popcorn and maybe washing your dishes or cleaning your kitchen. Phone is so starting to cut out. I think I'm running out of memory. I'll have to clear it out. But here she sent me some vintage stamps 
and they have all kinds of fun creatures on there. So, so vintage. We got a parrot, some cats, and look, on, on the back you can see how vintage this cutie is. Cute, cute, okay. Next up, we have, oh, it's got a glare, I'll put it over here. And then next up, if I reach in here, let's see what else Dale has blessed my socks off with. We got some fun trims here in uh, color, so this would be cute for a um, Asian journal. And then she sent me some of, oh, I've been wanting some of these. A library card, yes, yes, thank you so, so much. I definitely wanted some of those. And then these are some flashcards of math, which I was never good at. And then here we have this cute little envelope and then a certificate for some money. It says Masterpiece, the art auction game. I've never heard of that one. Oh, she sent me some postcards here. Oh, look at that, some shepherds. Okay, and here we have another shepherd. Obviously I would do a shirtless too because I'm sure it gets really hot out there. And then here, what are these? Okay, so this is a, another game, game card. And then here, what is going on here? Lots of detail, it looks like a broken building there. And again, from the auction game, making sure I'm looking at my time because it's being crazy, my phone. I sent her a text message like two months ago and then it barely sent not too long ago. She's like, what do you mean? No, I'm just kidding. It was maybe like two weeks back and it finally sent a couple days ago. She's like, huh? I was like, I don't know. My phone's crazy. It doesn't know what it's doing. Definitely needs replacement. It says this was a Christmas prayer. How cute is this postcard? Yeah, my phone's definitely giving me the trouble. So bear with me. Some fun small envelopes which are great for tiny junk journals or any journals for that matter and some textured paper here it almost looks handmade and then oh are these from Dollar Tree from those paper packs fun fun great for tags I see Anna Chateau using these quite a bit I'm just taking magnets look. okay look, look, watch they won't fall don't drop it, don't drop it, it's gonna be loud. So that was that, and look at these baby angels. Hopefully I had y'all in view. And then here we have a music one, great for a music journal. Look at this one. How pretty are these colors? So vibrant, so pretty. She shared some more of these uh, print papers. They almost look like mixed media papers. They have a glossy finish to them. Sorry if I'm going really fast. If, if I'm not going fast enough, put me on fast forward, it's fine. Totally understand. Look at this one, how fun are those? Ooh, I see a face there, do y'all see one? Some eyes and a nose. I see, I see one. Okay, let's see what else she blessed me with. Oh, here's another one of them fun print papers. Mmm, check these out. Look how yummy they mm. it. I don't know when this camera stopped, but I'm just gonna show y'all real quick the ones that I did, just in case it stopped. There we go. I'm really sorry. I really just, I was talking through all of this and my cameras decided to be stubborn and act up. It probably thinks it doesn't get paid enough to do this. I don't know. Well, look at those. Aren't those cute? I don't know when it stops, so I'm just gonna show y'all everything and anything. Camera's been acting crazy. Okay, so that was that. And then there's a certificate of merit, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she shared some more. These are so fun, Dale. Thank you. Look at these fun cut-aparts. And then look at these, oh, so pretty. So it says designed by and produced by Kelly Crafts for personal and small commercial use only. So cute. And then here we have a horse, so majestic. Some music paper, how fun are those? Love music paper. We have one, this one, a Mozart. Ooh, and these are on a glossier paper. They have a glossy finish. Do y'all see that? And then here, this is a huge envelope. And so pretty is she. 
Look at her dress. And then here oh. we have these beautiful ladies. So pretty. So cute. Okay, digging in again. Don't cut out on me, camera. Better don't. Ooh, this is an ideals. She gave me the whole book, you guys. And it's Christmas. Paul loves Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. Look, and it's such in beautiful condition. It says traditions of Christmas. Ooh, let me bring y'all up a little bit. Let me okay, see. so I hope this doesn't cut out because um, I do have y'all higher up now. I'm just gonna do a quick little flip through here. Uh, the pages on this are glossy. I don't wanna go through it fast because I wanna take my time, but I, I get it. It's gonna be a long video, so I totally understand. But just to give y'all an idea of what it looks like. Ooh, they're making a giant snowball there. How fun. One time when me and my baby brother were playing outside and we were making snowballs, he actually put a rock inside of the snowball. And he did manage to hit me with it. Smart guy. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> Probably got back to me for all the times that we give each other a hard time. Oh my goodness. We were pretty crazy as kids. Definitely not a good thing. But check that out. How beautiful is this book? In such great condition, I could never... I don't think I could find myself digging into this cutie. It's just too pretty. So that was um, the Traditions of Christmas and it is from Ideals. This is the spine. How pretty is that? Okay, I'm gonna put this cutie down here and then moving forward. Let's see what else she said. Oh my word. She sent me some cut aparts. I was asking her, I was like, if you okay, don't. Okay, so my camera's acting crazy again. So I don't know where it stopped, but I was talking about that she sent me these beautiful cut aparts and this was, when I asked her about it, I had not yet gone to the thrift shop to, to look for stuff and I came across cut aparts. So I was like, I think God heard me talking about it to her <laughs> and I was fortunate to find some, but she sent me this beautiful, beautiful uh, scrapbooking page. Cut aparts there and then look at this one. Isn't that one gorgeous? And then this one, this one feels pretty thick, so I think this might be two pages. Okay, so they are different. So you can have a look there. Hopefully it's in view. I'm tippy-toeing. Look at that one too. Postcard, how fun is that one? This guy. Look at that. That looks like one of her printables, so pretty. And then this one already has some, uh, like distressing there Some frames very nice look at that border and then check out this one I could still use that as like little flip outs and stuff check that out and then we have ooh, this one's really nice yes please look at that one look at those colors so pretty I like that color too check this one out it's got a vintage ledger. And then here we have this guy too. How pretty are those? And ooh, we got some tickets and more postcards. This cute doily, film strips, all of the things. Oh my gosh, I gotta find out what, what paper pad this is. It says once upon a time, uh, happily ever after. How pretty is that? And then, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. Look at that. They are all so pretty, Dale. Oh my gosh, I gotta find out the paper pack. If you guys know, let me know, cause they are so nice. And then here we have some- bugs. Okay guys, I am back after two hours later. <laughs> my phone ran out of storage and then it died. And then I had to go out of town. So here we are. It, I, it probably looks like it never cut out, but I was seeing that this beautiful postcard that Dale sent me is very, very vintage. It says, a friend may well be reckoned a masterpiece of nature. And I think it's so cute. And I didn't pay attention uh, too much the first time because I was just seeing how delicate and fragile it was. But 
Isn't that neat? And then this was the last thing that I was recording and it says Jesus lives and then it's got this embossing on it which is absolutely beautiful and I love this red. I just think it's so pretty. It says Jesus lives, seeing his love in your life and it's a devo devotional by Sarah Young. And I didn't get a chance to flip through it. Oh, oh I was not expecting that, Dale. She says presented to BB from Dale and then she dated it you guys <laughs> oh I was not expecting that she is too sweet oh my goodness I fell in love with it Dale this is just so beautiful and I'm glad she was able to fill out uh, that little dedication that is so sweet. And she says, a sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Yes, it does. And I couldn't be any more grateful for all these wonderful goodies, my sweet Dale. I know that you put a lot of love and I can feel and sense the love that you put into this beautiful happy mail. And uh, I'm just so appreciative and that's absolutely so sweet of you. I just, I don't know what to say. But in this beautiful, you guys, look. It's just so stinking precious. Full of beautiful, beautiful devotion. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor any else in all creation will be able to, be, to separate us from love, from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. This is wonderful, Dale. Thank you so, so much. Absolutely beautiful. And thank you so, so very much. But we still have uh, quite a few items here to go through. Then I will try to wrap it up. And I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time because I will be drooling over these once the camera's cut off. But she shared some of this beautiful trim with me. And then look at these little yarns and stuff, the way she packaged this. Um, I, f I keep forgetting what to call this. I don't know the term right now. I'm sure it'll burlap, burlap, there we go. I was like, why can't I think of it? But she shared this beautiful fabric and then look at this pattern too. So cute, so pretty. And then some more doilies, little baby doilies. Aren't those cute? And you can see the gold in this one. Gorgeous. Sorry if y'all can hear a drill and or a saw. I don't can't tell which one it is. Um, my husband is working out there. She didn't stop there. She sent me a ruler. And then she shared some stamps here in this beautiful envelope. Look at that delicate envelope. I like here. She shared quite a bit with me. Uh, I don't know if you could see, but it looks like they're on some dirt there. A little dirt hill. She attached some more right there. Aren't those fun? Check those out. I'm just gonna give y'all like a quick little run through of these. Oh look, this one says airmail. Here we go. These are so cool. These are gonna be so cool for um, making collages with. I think these are stuck together, so I won't even mess with that because they look nice together anyways. And then this one, I love the blue. I wonder if that's snow. I think it's snow. But she gave me three, sh wait, one, two, three, four. Four sheets of this. And then look at this one. These ones were always fun as kids with the picture that changes. And then I used to mess with them too with my nail because they make a sound, you know? Did y'all ever do that too? And then there's more in there, but I think I've shown y'all enough of those. Ah, there they go. Sliding away from me. I had to message her and tell her I got stuck in the middle of recording because my phone was uh, acting up. So there we go. Thank you for this wonderful pack of vintage stamps. Those are so cool. And I think I found a pin. Check that one out. You see that sunrise or sunset? Sorry, I don't know which one it is. And we got some more things in here. 
I see another embossing frame, but this one's like a label, the label maker. And then this one are two kids reading a book. How cute is that? Big old book. They look like little miniatures. Oh, I feel another pin. And then she sent me a donut, so I'll have to add these two cuties to the jean jacket. Let me put them over here. All right, next up. Ooh, this is cool. It's a journal, and it, it's, it looks like a postcard here, and then it's got a Bible verse there. Isn't that cool? Here's the spine. I love this, Dale. Thank you. Even the back, it's so pretty. There's the Statue of Liberty. Check this out. Look at those beautiful pages. Wow, we. I love this. How neat. Thank you for that. Love this. And then a cute little stamp. And then let me reach in here again. Because she sent me some more goodies. Not done yet. And this is a little vintage birthday greetings card. And then you can see that someone wrote their little happy birthdays. They all signed it. So and cute. she shared some more of those vintage letters with me, which are so absolutely amazing. So this one is from 1913, you guys. How beautiful. If I can be very careful and open up one and have us a look. Oh, how delicate. See, I don't think I'll be able to read this. Well, we are having rainy weather here. More measles, and measles our baby has had them, and Saturday is the day for me and to take them. It hasn't hurt the baby so far. He, he laughs some yet. Oh, I can't read that. Struggling a little bit. I'll probably have to do it on my own time so that I don't frustrate y'all. Y'all probably can read that better than me. How? neat is that measles poor baby how awful this one is from 1903 it says oh my goodness i'm holding from something from 1903 that's crazy to even think of 1906 Louisville, and this one says miss betty j hunt that is so stinking cool look at the back wait i think there's two here I'm dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one says August 14, 1908. Oh, how trippy. And then here we have a little puppy dog in a suit and a cute flowered hat. <laughs> Get well, dog got it, and please don't take too long. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. See, I would like if someone sent me a Get Well card like that, you know? I would laugh. Let not your heart be troubled. And then this is a little book with, I think, uh, maybe some entries or something. I don't know what to call them. You'll probably know. It says, try prayer power. And I think this might have been a gift. Hope you have a good Christmas with your family. Prayers. Truly yours, Ruby. And here, what is this? It's delicate, too. Oh, these are like little tearaways. Very cool. They almost look like stamps. Check out these folks here. Very cool. And then it's got gold. Do y'all see that? Kind of shimmery. I hope the camera's picking it up. A little note to cheer you. Folks who are as nice as you ought never to be sick. So here's a warm and hearty wish that you will get well quick. How fun! A little poem. January 4th, 1968. How cute! And then this one is the De Devet Home and School for Education and Rehabilitation Spastic Paralytics and Cerebral Palsy Children. Aww. Whoa, check this out. That is neat. I like this. Check out the aging on this. Oh, we got a yellow sheet here. Ooh, Davies County Fair and Farm Exhibition. 
This is cool. Oh my gosh. We're about to get our carnival coming into town soon. There's my birthday. How stinking cool. That's a neat find. Absolutely neat. Let me make sure I got everything. I sure did, guys. That was our last one. How funny that it ended uh, with the date of my birthday, which I thought was so super cool. Dale, my sweet Dale. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. It was a lot of fun unboxing all of the cuties that you have spoiled me with for my birthday. You're an amazing woman, friend that anybody could ever have asked for. Thank you for making my birthday celebration so super special. Thank you for all the patches you sent in. They're gonna look absolutely amazing on the jean jacket. And I just, I don't know. This must've taken a lot of time to have put together for me. And I just greatly appreciate the thought that went into each and every single little item that you placed in the box for me. Greatly appreciated. I love you so, so much, my sweet Dale. Sending you virtual hugs, and I'm sorry once again for all the pauses in this video. I know it was probably a huge mess. I'll have to look back at it once I edit it. I hope you guys enjoyed and had fun unboxing these cuties with me as well. Y'all have all made this celebration so much fun, and I know there will be more entries to come as well because I have received more messages, so Look forward to all of it up for me, you guys. Y'all have a lovely rest of y'all's day, and I will be messaging you, Dale, a.k.a. Grandma Linda. All right, I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye.